The following is the tale known as the Monkey Hunter. Here's the scenario. The hunter, walking along the jungle, spots a monkey in the tree, takes careful aim along the barrel of his gun. Bang! The monkey, seeing the flash of the gun, drops out of the tree to avoid the bullet. But nonetheless, because the monkey is being accelerated by gravity at the same rate as the bullet, the monkey gets hit. There are two ways of doing this demonstration. The first is with a large target at close range and a high speed projectile. Kind of like shooting the broadside of a barn. The second way is with a small target at a great distance and a low speed projectile. A little more challenging. There are two basic mechanisms to make this event happen. The first is a giant pea shooter. This uses compressed air which it has to get out of the tank in a big hurry. So I'm drilling an oversized hole and welding standard plumbing fittings to it. The weld wasn't quite airtight so I had to put some brazing in it and then some Teflon dope. Just in case uh this plastic valve explodes inside this box and I don't think it's going to but if it does I want the air to get out but not the shrapnel so I'm taking out this rubber gasket and here's the complete gun from the tank to the valve to the gun barrel Although it's possible to wind an electromagnet by hand, that's just way too time consuming and tedious. So I applied my drill. Even with that, I'm gonna give you the high speed to speed up that process. The magnet was just strong enough to hold the can. That happened a lot. I found that 15 to 20 psi worked pretty well for my test to get a good curvature. I used a mirror to sight along the barrel of the gun because that box was in my way. It worked pretty well to get a good sight picture. When I throw this switch, two things happen at the same moment. The gun fires and the can drops off the magnet. In the first position, the magnet is activated. In the second position, the ball is shot. Miss. 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 Every single shot missed by about two feet. The ball passing over the can. And the ball hit me. Then I took a closer look at the video and it appears that it is the period of time that the ball is accelerating inside the barrel that is the discrepancy. The can actually falls before the ball leaves the barrel. By the time the ball leaves the gun barrel 
the can has already fallen about six inches. That's the same diameter as the can. So I rewired the system such that the ball leaving the end of the barrel breaks this wire, releasing the electromagnet. And that is how I finally hit the tin monkey. Tune in next monkey season. I'll be using a laser sight and a monkey which captures the ball. Instead of it bouncing back out. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was pretty good.